Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to unclog your nozzle. So time to time our extruder tends to clog and print stops in the middle of it or it doesn't even start. What happens is basically your extruder nozzle is get stuck and filament is not able to go through it. As a result, when your nozzle get clogged, when your extruder motor tries to feed in the filament, it grinds it down and it doesn't move forward. My filament get grinded and it's not moving forward. Even it moves forward, my nozzle do not extrude anything because it get clogged. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. First, what you need to do is to go to your menu and click extrude button and make sure that your extruder is heated above 200 Celsius degree. And then what we are going to do is to move our Z axis up a bit so that we will have enough space to work under. After I get my comfortable height, what I'm going to do is to remove my nozzle. So for that, I'm going to use one plier and a wrench, hold my aluminum block while I'm turning the extruder. When you detach your nozzle from the extruder, remember that it is still hot because it was connected to 200 Celsius degree. And as quickly as possible, use the needle that is given with the machine, open the clog nozzle and by using a tweezer you can remove the filament that is left inside too and make sure that when you are done with it you should be able to see the background as you can see I'm able to see the blue background on my finger from the nozzle and it will be clean however be careful because when your nozzle cools down your filament will solidify inside and you won't be able to remove it so you need to reheat to save the nozzle or you can just get a new nozzle piece and attach that one. After we remove the nozzle from there, go back to your menu and cool down your extruder. So I set it to zero. After my extruder cools down, I shut down my 3D printer and I take my L wrench to open this region. So we first need to detach this section. And do not lose those screws. After you unscrew them, what you are going to do is to secure this piece and we are going to first remove our bolden tube so to remove the bolden tube gently press this section while you are pressing remove your tube up so when you remove your tube up you are going to see that your filament is stuck in here too because when your nozzle get clogged your filament accumulates in here and it expands the bolden tube at the same time so if this section is too much expanded you might want to renew your bolden tube or cut the section which is expanded with an exacto knife what i'm going to do is to renew my bolden tube actually after we detach this section what i'm going to do is to detach this section so again press it and remove the tube so right now what we are going to do is to pull this filament out and get your plier without breaking the filament and apply force to remove it. The filament diameter get expanded towards the end where the nozzle get clogged because the system is trying to push the filament where it cannot go anywhere and the diameter of filament increases in this region compared to the nominal diameter in this here in this region. Get your bolden tube back and make sure that it is not expanded in the diameter so I will try to show this gap issue to you guys so this is my old bobbin tube as you can see there is a gap in between my filament where my tube get expanded after heat damage and this is the new tube that I get which I don't have that gap located in here this is another example of bobbin tube going bad as you can see it creates this neck where it expanded so we need to change it so what I'm going to do right now is to cut my bobbin tube perpendicular so I will have a flat surface of my bolden tube with an exacto knife cut your bolden tube to the size it should be around 35 to 40 centimeters depending on your uh, x-axis but 35 centimeters is pretty good value what we are going to do is to attach this back to this region before before you connect the bolden tube into your extruder look over here to see if there is anything left in your extruder you can just check it by putting your allen wrench too so that your allen wrench comes from the bottom so there is nothing blocking the way you should be very careful with that plug your bolden tube in but do not push your bolden tube all the way down because at this moment we are going to attach our nozzle at the bottom and then we will complete pushing our bolden tube because inside this extruder your bolden tube 
and the nozzle should be aligned like this. So basically your Bowden tube will come down until it touches the nozzle inside your extruder system. So this is a heating block and this is the where you cool the uh, region of this Bowden tube so that your filament doesn't get too soft. So what we are going to do is to put this one in a little bit, not too much, and then fasten our nozzle right in here. To give you the idea of how deep your Bowden tube should go down, I detached it and I decided to show you this. So basically it will go down to the point where when you screw this nozzle in, it will touch the, the, it will touch the surface of this region in there. So you should be able to feel the resistance when it hits to your nozzle when you push your Bowden tube down. So if you push it too much without nozzle, what will happen is basically it will come out from here like this. Okay, returning back to where we left, what I'm going to do is to fasten those three screws that we detached. Right now, as you can see, my system is feeding the filament properly from the tube and it extrudes pretty well, so I'm right now using the auto feed in function of IFRS U20 and I unclogged my nozzle and right now it is time to 3D print new objects. Okay guys, thank you for watching. In this video we focused on how to unclog our extruder and the nozzle if you have this issue with your 3D printer IFRS U20. It is the same exact procedure for other 3D printers too, so be careful while you are following these steps to not burn yourself and always don't forget to cool down your printer before you touch any of the hot parts and if you have any comments or anything that you want to know about please comment down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys really like this video